Hey there guys, this is going to be a pretty special video because I'm going to uh, tell you how you can go about protecting your troops and the rest of your assets, as in your resources and everything else. Um, how not to give them to the enemy, basically. Anyhow, first thing we're going to talk about is troops. Um, obviously, your number one defense is having a shield up, right? Um, always making sure you got your timer sets. Everybody's phone has a timer on it, so if you freaking pop an eight-hour shield, then um, make sure you set your timer as well, and then you'll get an alert, and you can log in, get shielded. Nothing worse than logging in 15 minutes after your shield expires, and you found out you're just being zeroed by some ass. Anyhow, if you cannot afford shields, what you need to do is, one, you need to make sure... Come on, there we go. All right, so first of all, your storehouse, your resources, because um, that's the main reason guys are going to hit you, is to farm resources so they can grow. So have a good idea of what your current resources are. Um, so like I'm at, currently at 1.6 mil. Uh, that's unboosted. You have... Uh, let's see if we can find it here don't even remember what subcategory it's in so i've got a whole bunch of these things uh, there you go the protection boosts right you get tons of them off quests um they're pretty handy honestly if you're in a period of war pop a seven day boost and then you have a large amount of resources that um, are protected so in the case that you aren't shielded and you have resources um, above your protection limit, you either want to send it to an alliance mate, or um, what a lot of alliances do, and our alliance here on 17, the Art of War, um, we have a bank, so what we'll do is we'll send excess resources um, to that bank, and then at a later date, you withdraw them as you need them. So this also works for, uh, like currently we're in, where are we here? We're in the tower event, Oh, we're number one. What do you know? Anyhow. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you're sitting on a tower. There are a lot of very big fish out there. Like, we'll take a quick look here. Uh, leaderboard. There we go. 140, 180, 110 million. So these guys have, like, 40 million um, armies, right? Might. If they hit you on a tower, you're done. So there's really no point in keeping your troops there or keeping your resources there. So... Um, send it off to your bank, send it off to an alliance mate. Now the next thing is troops. Um, this works for tower events and of course um, just at any given time to make sure that uh, you don't lose um, you don't lose any troops. But uh, the thing is um, in March of Empires we have something that is absolutely phenomenal that you don't have in any other game, and that's the ability to reinforce your capital. So if we go uh, go into one of my regions here, right, you have the option to reinforce, so you can do full march size. So like for me, um, I can send almost 300,000 troops to the capital. Now the thing is, if they're reinforced in the capital, yes, the capital can be hit, but the enemy needs to have what they call a common border, and as you can see, all the way around is nothing but our own borders. And then off here to the left, um, that hasn't been claimed yet, so no one can hit it. So the thing is, let's say I'm in this Balport region, okay, so that means, let's say, um, this MC alliance turned, uh, turned against us, decided to attack. It's going to be eight hours for them to attack this adjoining region, Finsworth, right? And then they have to claim it before they could even attack Balport. So, I mean, you just have to look at where your potential enemies are. I mean, I could even go one in here, Port Spider Spit, um, put more reinforcements there, and then I have 16 hours of protection. Worst case scenario. Um, we're currently in, I believe, a nap with MC. And as you see up here, uh, ITA, we're in a pact. So, relatively safe, unless something goes nuts, but I mean, always assume some, something is going to happen, right? Thing is, you can also look at, um, like, interior, like this Fishander region. Uh, you have here, say, ITA, for some reason, decided they were going to go to war with this, um, say they were neutral even. So, eight hours for this first place, this first region, and then um, they're able to attack Fishander, right? If I reinforce there. Now the thing is, um, 
what, before Castle 20, you've got four marches, so you can hide hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of troops. So there is absolutely no reason to be losing troops because you don't have a shield. Stick them in a region, and they're safe. Same thing on the towers. Uh, grab your tower and immediately send all your troops out to the regions. You might get bumped from the tower, whatever, it happens, but you're not going to have to spend a whole bunch of speed ups and resources on, um, on healing all your troops. Anyhow... Uh, yeah, so that's that. That covered resources. Um, I hope that helps you guys out. If you can't afford shields, this is the poor man's way to protect your assets. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.